Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into the world of Atif Aslam. Um, I first reacted to him maybe about a month ago or so, maybe not even that long, but it was so well received. And it, aside from being well received, I just loved the sound of this man's voice. Oh my God, such a beautiful tone to his voice. Um, and I got lots of great suggestions from you guys. At least what I'm assuming are great suggestions. I have not watched them yet, but I've got lots of suggestions from you guys. And well, if it features him, I'm assuming it's great because he's amazing. Um, so I just picked one at random. Um, so some of you guys recommended that I should check out the song apologize if I butcher the pronunciation. Sokdahun Kewo Kitni Masun? Maybe. Might be how it's pronounced. I don't know. Um, so I saw where I think there were like recorded versions and I saw like live versions and whatnot that were a little bit longer. I was like, let me just dive into a live version for right now and just see what this is all about. Because I, I fell in love with this voice live, so let me hear it live. Um, yeah, so the original video link will be down in the description, and we're just going to dive in and see what this is all about. I could literally say no words and just vocalize the entire time and it would just be gorgeous. background vocals. Okay, come on background vocals. Oh. Apparently the audience is really excited about what we're getting into this part of the song. I feel like we're about to break it down. Hold on. Oh, I feel like we're about to break it down in a minute here. And I am so ready. Gotta climb the scale. Come on, baby. Hey. Makes him want to shimmy. Hey. 
sing. I love all the call and response too. this guitar. I want to be up in this audience. It's probably a good thing I'm not in this audience because Lord, I would be busting all kinds of moves. It's like everyone just stay out of my way. This is my circle right here. Come on, baby. I love seeing him like kind of like guide and direct himself and his voice with his hands. Such a singer thing. Like I said, I just want to shimmy. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we slow it down. Okay. To take this down to a slow wine. Sing. How time are we done already? Like I said, that was the fastest eight minutes of my life because at first when I was deciding between like doing this and like a recorded version of the song, I was leaning more towards the recorded version because I've been a long day at work and already been recording a couple things here and it's just kind of the end of my session. So I'm like, okay, let me just do something short. But then I was like, uh, I don't know, something is telling me to listen to this longer version. What is the difference between the shorter version and this longer version? I don't know. And so I was like, okay, I'll go with this. It'll be fine. And 
Y'all, that was the quickest eight minutes of my life. Like, it just flew by. Oh, my God. So much fun. So, uh, I love the rhythmic nature of the music. I love his musicality. I love all of the call and response between him and his background singers. I love the instrumentation. I love just everything about it. It just made me want to move. It started off slow and I'm like, okay, I can feel. I don't know when it's going to kick in. I don't know when this beat or this rhythm is going to kick in, but I feel us building. Even in this slow part in the beginning, like I feel us building to something and I feel it's about to just break it down. So once we finally got into like the thick of it and we were just like going in on it, I was like, yes. Oh my gosh. I wish that, well, I'm gonna say, I wish I could just like get up and start dancing and whatnot, but I'm not wearing pants right now, so y'all need to see all that on camera. But I'm like, it just made me want to move. It made me want to dance and groove, and I'm like, yes. And that's not even taking into account his vocals, which were fantastic. Oh, God, I love, I love watching singers and how they navigate through their voices and how they, what their mannerisms are and how they work through their energy as a performer because every singer is different every performer is different some of us might have like similar gestures or similar qualities and whatnot like sometimes you might see singers like just like throwing hands and getting all crazy and like sometimes you'll see them like crouching and doing all this stuff and like you know different people have different ways of like channeling that energy out of them to get whatever emotion or get whatever vocals out of them they need to get out of them um and it's always just so interesting for me to see other people so like him there were so many times when he was singing and he was and I don't know if it was him like consciously sort of like directing himself with his hand, but there's so many instances like he would, his hand would gesture up and he would go up and then he would go up higher and he would go up higher. Like his hand was guiding his voice and it may be a conscious thing. It may be a subconscious thing. Cause I know for me sometimes as a singer, there are times when I tend to fall flat and I need to consciously make the effort to, okay, think above the note do something to think above the note that you think you're going to hit and then you'll end up landing on what it is you're trying to hit on those instances where i might fall a little bit flat and sometimes it's just a visual thing where i just have to mentally think about it other times i have to physically do something like tilt my head which is not always the best way because cause some strain or lift my hand or you know do something sometimes i just have to have like some physical interaction to pair with the mental justification of okay think up here so that you are singing up here so that you're hitting this note and you're not falling just below the note or anything like that so it's interesting for me to see him like do this sort of like almost self-conducting thing with himself so it's like he's singing then he's like okay ah, ah, and like those weren't the notes or anything like that but there were a number of times throughout the performance where i would see him gesture in that sort of way emphatically and that's when his voice would follow suit and it's just like so, such a singer thing love, i love singing, singing. um but yeah his his fuller his fuller beltier parts very well supported very beautiful i love he just has great tone to his voice um and i've said it about a lot of the indian music that i've reacted to um i love just the sort of i don't know what you call it but that sort of like this very fast almost um melodic they're not really like riffing or running but it's like almost like a slight slight little riff slight little run just that's part of their natural melody line part of their natural way of singing like it's just so it feels so like i was saying in the beginning it felt very spiritual like i could be on top of a mountain and just like in this deep meditation and I could hear that as like the background music or something off in the distance. Like it just feels very spiritual and meditative, that sort of vibe. Like I don't know exactly what the term is for it because it's not something that's um, typical in Western music over here in the States. Um, and I'm more familiar with that sort of terminology, but I love it. I love it. Oh, I just eat up. So yeah, I love that. And like I said, I love the call and response and just how much he was featuring his background singers and how much he was featuring his instrumentalists in the band. I love how casual everything felt. And I love that literally it was an eight minute video that felt like two and a half, three minutes long. Like it flew by. Oh, 
so good so damn good um yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this i don't remember exactly who recommended this i feel like i saw a couple um people recommend this or something similar so thank you if you did recommend this um i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to i'll see you guys in my next video love you